Today we are in Lexington Cemetery in Lexington, Kentucky, and before we get started on today's tour, I do have a question for all of you watching. For those of you who have seen my videos before, you know I do different types of cemetery tours. I do country cemetery tours, famous graves, historical graves, and I visit the graves of those with notoriety, whether it be sports, politics, entertainment, what do you prefer? Do you have a preference? I do these little questions every now and then on my channel to kind of give me some direction on where to go and what to do next. So if you could answer that in the comments below, I would greatly appreciate it. And every time I ask a question like that, historical figures, people in history normally comes up. And one name that comes up over and over is Abraham Lincoln. So today, and I've done some videos on his family before, but today we are in Lexington Cemetery and I am going to be visiting the family plot of the Todd family which is Abraham Lincoln's in-laws. So for all of you Lincoln and history fans and cemetery fans in general, join me today in Lexington Cemetery in Lexington, Kentucky, as we visit the family plot of the Todd family, Abraham Lincoln's in-laws. And what a lot of people don't know about the Todd family is even without the ties to President Abraham Lincoln, the Todd family was very affluent and very wealthy. And as a matter of fact, Levi Todd, who is buried in the Todd family plot, actually helped found the city of Lexington, Kentucky. And that is where we are at today. We are in Lexington Cemetery in Lexington, Kentucky, visiting the Todd family plot. And you will see here that the uh, Todd family plot is marked uh, very well in Lexington Cemetery and you know as as they are known Lincoln's in-laws so like I mentioned there are a lot of uh, interesting stories here within the uh, Todd family other than the relation to Abraham Lincoln like I said they were very wealthy when you go back to that day and age in Kentucky uh, wealth is not something that you find too often most of the time it was just poor hard-working uh, country people and and that's what you would find back in those days but you can see here we're going to just take a look we're going to do this as a watch along I'm going to watch this with you as we visit the Todd family plot and we'll take a look at some of the names here um, you know many brothers sisters cousins things like that in this plot in a very beautiful area within the cemetery you can see the age here and you know, really just a great tribute to history can be found in this particular cemetery. So we're going to be looking at the grave of, uh, later in the video, the grave of Lincoln's father-in-law, the father of Mary Todd Lincoln. And you'll see here, there's different names, different surnames that you will see. And most of these, well, all of these are in some way related to the Todd family, Dr. David Todd. Born May 8th, 1788. So you will see there is definitely some age here. And it makes you wonder uh, when you see a doctor, you know, what type of uh, specialty they had. Most of the time, I'm sure it was just general family care. But still, parts of history that, you know, I would like to know the answers to. And you'll see the grave there, Samuel B. Todd. And some of the inscriptions on there are unfortunately kind of starting to get lost through time. And unfortunately, that's one thing that happens uh, in these old cemeteries. I do want to thank you all for joining me as we continue to visit the Todd family plot here in Lexington Cemetery. And if you don't mind, I would greatly appreciate it if you would answer the question that I asked at the beginning in the comments. I like to do things that you want to see, so it gives me some, some direction on where to go with my channel. So thank you all for joining me. The Todd family plot, there is a lot of history here. I love it. I love the ornate architecture on some of these old stones. Thank you again for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe and join me on my journeys. Now, Robert Todd, who was the father-in-law of Abraham Lincoln, you can see his stone there to the right. We're going to visit that a little bit closer on into the video, but uh, this particular stone you will see, and it's, it's pretty good size. Uh, it definitely towers above the rest here in the Todd family plot in Lexington Cemetery. But we're going to take a few looks at that and just the you know the architecture on that along with the age and the history uh, really mean a lot. Now one thing I did learn in reading about the Todd family is Robert Todd was actually married twice. And both of the wives were actually named Elizabeth. You know, when one passed, he, he married another. And we're going to see here the name on the side of this, which would be 
Well, on this part, it's in memory of my boys, and there are the names of some of the some of the sons in the Todd family, and we're going to look behind it, and you'll see some of the the architecture, you know, simple crosses, and you know some of the more standard stones that you would find in those those days. Uh, Levi Todd missed the last name on that Rhodes, I believe, and. Actually, one of my viewers pointed this out to me when I asked the question about what the finger pointed up, pointing up means there, and you see it on that stone, it's the finger pointing to heaven. And this is what I thought we were actually going to be seeing just a moment ago. It's on the other side of that larger stone. Elizabeth L. Todd, which is, I believe, the second wife of Robert Todd. Um, but she was a, uh, her last name was Humphreys, I do believe, Elizabeth Humphreys. And you can just see there's rows and rows and this plot, I mean, it's it's a decent sized plot, and you can see a lot of graves, just side by side, family members packed into this this one small spot. Some more smaller footstones, uh, you'll see there, and and you know, just it's amazing. It's it's really amazing that a family nowadays you don't see this, you really don't see. You may see some small family plots, but this is very sizable. You're talking several generations of the Todd family buried in this one plot and what I'm doing what I make sure that I do in this video is just give you a general view of the plot and we're actually coming from the back side and filming back towards the plot and if you look in the far background there, that very large um, monument with the statue on the top that is actually the grave of Henry Clay which is a famous Kentucky statesman uh, anyone from Kentucky knows who Henry Clay is and this particular gentleman dr lyman beecher todd i did another video on him a long form video this man had a fascinating story in history he was actually a cousin of mary todd of course a dear cousin and the night that lincoln lost his life at ford's theater in washington dc lyman beecher todd was present and it is said that he helped treat the president during his final hours and was actually there at the autopsy as well. So Lyman Beecher Todd, if you have the chance to check out my longer video on him, I would highly suggest doing it. Just a fascinating story and talk about, I don't know if you want to call it the right place at the right time or the wrong place at the wrong time, but him just becoming a, unknowingly becoming a part of history simply by being in that theater on that night. So some great ties, not only to Kentucky history, but to our nation's history. Um, you, know, you can argue that is one of the, I mean, definitely one of the most tragic, but one of the biggest moments in our nation's history. And we're going to come up on the grave of Robert Todd. This is the father of Mary Todd Lincoln, the father-in-law of our 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. Robert Todd was, like I mentioned before, he was married two different times. Uh, both of the wives were named Elizabeth. And here in Lexington Cemetery in Lexington, Kentucky, the father-in-law of President Abraham Lincoln. And I just love the history associated with this. And I love these watch-along videos too, because sometimes when I'm filming, it can be kind of hard to really take the moment in because I am focusing so much on capturing things on film for you all to see. And you can see here, this stone is actually still in very good shape. Uh, you can read that, read that very, very well there. And just, again, taking some general looks at Lexington Cemetery, the Todd family plot. And this was a beautiful day. I do want to thank you all for joining me on all my journeys. I really appreciate that. And this is something that's, it's a labor of love for me. I love being able to share things with you. Maybe things that you haven't necessarily seen before. So glad to be able to bring you this visit. And I, I thank you all for joining me. If you've not subscribed, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to put links in the, the description where you can find me. Facebook, Instagram, my merchandise store, everything that, uh, all the places you can find me. Thank you again for watching. I will see you again soon.